Self-love. It's so important, but why do we all seem to struggle with it so, so much? Why is it so hard for so many of us to truly and genuinely love ourselves? Love our spirit and our soul, love our body, love everything about our life and our journey. Folks, it's only from a foundation rooted in genuine and harmonious thankfulness and gratitude for our life, for who we are and for what we are, that we can step forward and begin to manifest new things and new experiences with the law of attraction. But unless we are genuinely filled with love for what and for who we are now, we cannot move forward. Up next, I'm going to be explaining all of this and showing you one trick that will absolutely transform your mindset in an instant and will show you how and why you can and you will love everything about who you are and what you are right now. My name's Ben and welcome to Elevate. Let's step right into today's video. Welcome back to another video, folks. If it's your first time with us, I'm so glad you found us. If you like what you see, why not consider subscribing? And to all of our new subscribers who have joined us recently, welcome to the family. I love you, I'm thankful for each and every one of you, so please feel welcome to reach out to me at any time. But today we're talking about self-love. This is something a lot of people struggle with. And in fact, it's something that we must get right if we are to manifest and live our best lives, live our true desires, our soul's purpose and mission, and attract and manifest experiences, people, things, places, adventure and excitement into our world. Why is self-love so important? Because when we want these things, when we say, I want this promotion at work, therefore I'm going to set about attracting that into my reality, or we really desire a partner, a soulmate, or perhaps we really desiring uh, overseas travel, or maybe to sit down and write a book, Whatever it might be, whatever your dream is, the issue is that dream requires you to be a certain person to fulfill it. That's where the law of attraction works. That's where the power is. The power is in the journey in transforming us. You see, we don't attract what we want. We attract what we are. So from the overflow of our life and from the overflow of our heart, Come our dreams and our desires and that which we attract into our reality. You see, if you put a lemon up here and squeeze it and open your mouth up, what are you going to get? You're going to get bitter, horrible, yuck lemon juice. No one knew that until they squeezed it. From the outside, a lemon looks fantastic. It's the same thing with an orange. Take a beautiful orange, it looks fantastic from the outside. Hold it up here and squeeze it, and what comes out? Beautiful, sweet, rich, natural, lovely, refreshing orange juice. Two fruits, they look quite similar, but when you squeeze them, one is bitter and sour, and one is beautiful and sweet. Folks, what comes out of you when life squeezes you? Do you look great on the outside, but when life gives you a squeeze, are you bitter and twisted and upset? Or when life gives you a squeeze, do you develop empathy? Are you graceful? Are you quick to forgive? Are you slow to anger? You see, this is the key to self-love and to moving forward in the law of attraction. When we love ourselves fully, we love who we are and who what we are fully, we are free to move forward into our future and into our destiny. And here is the one key that I've never heard anybody else teach and I don't know why, to loving yourself now. You see folks, it all has to do with perspective and contrast. This is the law of polarity at play. 
If you cannot love where you are now, you have nothing to index future blessings against. Let me say that another way. If you cannot appreciate your health, how will you ever know what it is? So of course we appreciate our health because each and every single one of us have been sick at some point in our life through varying degrees, some more so than others. But if you've ever been sick, folks, you know the value of health. That's contrast. Have you ever stepped into a beautiful air-conditioned shopping mall on a scorching hot summer's day when it's hot and sweaty and still outside and then you walk into that beautiful cool mall with that cold air that washes over you and immediately you feel refreshed and invigorated? Well, there again, the same thing, folks. This is contrast. This is the law of polarity at play. We would never be in a position to appreciate the beauty of our air-conditioned comfort had we not been through the discomfort of sweating in heat. We would never appreciate, honour, respect and esteem perfect health if we didn't have sickness to reference it against. We would never know the beauty and liberty of free life if we had never seen war. Just like you will never know and never see the fullness of your dreams and your desires without the contrast to show you where you've come from and where you're going to. So if you're in a season now where you hate yourself, and you hate your life, you might hate the way you look, you might hate the way you speak, you might want to change your appearance, you might want to change all sorts of things, you might want to change big parts of your story and your journey. But folks, instead of wanting to change it, stop wishing it away and stop looking at it like it's forever. Because it's not. It's today's part of the journey that's here only to provide contrast, only to provide perspective. The law of polarity, folks, it's a strong and powerful universal principle. If you can't love yourself now, you can't move forward. We all want to move forward. So imagine looking back from that place that you seek to be at. Looking back on all the things that you hate about yourself now. And then being able to understand that all of those things have been sent to you, especially to you, for you to work through and maintain peace with, so that you have perspective. When you get here, imagine what it will be like to look back over that vast, vast season and see all the wonders and miracles that have come through your life, all the experiences that have been through your hands, and understanding that it's all because we have learned to love ourselves now. Love is never about perfection, folks. Love is never earned. We are never, ever worthy of love. It's something that is just bestowed, that is just given freely in grace and in mercy and in respect. So choose to give yourself love. You ain't gotta be perfect. You don't have to have your life together. You can be falling apart at the seams, but love it, folks. Love that life of yours. Because when it changes, and it will, you will look back and see the law of polarity showing so much contrast. Just like there cannot be darkness where there is light, so too will the contrast of the law of polarity, shine light on a beautiful new you, a you you can love, a you you can respect. Now, if you can't love yourself now, know that I love you. Start from there. There is someone who loves you, who supports you, who is here to uplift you, to work with you. So if I can help you in any way, reach out any time. But folks, that's it for today's video. Now remember, Let's go out there, let's act in love, keep on powering, let's respect ourselves, and let's love our journey. It's all part of a really rich, beautiful tapestry. Thanks again for joining me, folks. I pray this blessed you today. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.